بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف النبي المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. Allah Almighty used the form of oath for many things in the Holy Quran. One of the things that Allah Almighty swore by and made it most by was the fathers. The fathers. And the main reasons for that is because of the importance of fathers for worldly matters as well as for future generations. Now, the Messenger sallallahu highlighted this reality in a beautiful hadith where he said that Allah Almighty will hold accountable every person who is in charge of something. Whatever responsibility you have, you will be held accountable in front of Allah Almighty, whether He preserved it or protected it, or whether He neglected it. Until Allah Almighty will ask a father about his household, about his family. The most important responsibility for a father is to save them from hellfire. Allah Almighty said in the Holy Quran, O oh, you who believe, save yourselves and your families from the fire. Means to guide them to Iman, to their Lord Allah Almighty and their Creator, to instill the love of Allah Almighty and the respect for Allah Almighty and fear of the punishment from Allah Almighty in their hearts. And this was the way of life within the family of the Prophets and Messengers. Allah Almighty mentioned to us the last will of Ibrahim السلام, and the last will of Ya'qub to their children and their families. My dear children, Allah Almighty has chosen for you this beautiful religion and way of life. So do not die except while being Muslims. Continue to be Muslims until the last breath of yours. And they continue, the ayah continue about how important it is. That is the, this is the final will of the prophets to their children. Yes, of course, obviously. Sadly, nowadays we think about so many things when we are going to die. But I'm worried that they will continue being good Muslims. And the other part, which is linked to the worldly matters, that is the way of life, guiding them to have good morals, get good etiquette, love for humanity, love for Muslim brothers, love for, for, for good deeds, dealing with people with goodness and kindness. The morals, that is the message of the Messenger وسلم. What did the Messenger وسلم, say about his message? He says, I was sent merely to perfect the moral code. Moral practices. Now, being Muslim is not only about your relationship between you and Allah Almighty but also how that is affecting your relationship with the creation of Allah Almighty. And the next part about that, protecting their well-being, their own protection of safety and, 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 and security and, and, and protecting them from the harms and telling them about what, what to expect in real life and how to protect themselves from it. That is the physical protection. This was also the way of life of the Prophets and Messengers. Allah Almighty mentioned to us the story of Nuh and how he called upon his son, My dear son, come ride with us before he's going to be doomed. But he refused. So the concept of our duty towards them is very important. Final point is about transferring your own experiences in life to them. There is no need for them to go through your mistakes to learn to learn the lessons that you learned. We all go through mistakes, right? It's part of life, part of learning process. Now, part of the wisdom is to transfer these lessons to others so that they do not have to commit the same mistakes. Most importantly, transferring that experience to your own children. Tell them about the good practices that you had and experiences and the bad ones and how to avoid them and transfer to them the morals and etiquette and way of life, good, good morals and, and customs that are linked to Islam. This is very important. Sadly, you are seeing the new, new generations 
our not realizing some important aspects, social interaction that are very important in Islam, very vital. Especially for people who are living abroad. The relationship with your relatives, with your rahim, with your family members, this is something that is very important. Sadly, they, they, are, they are not used to that. They do not know it. So it's part of our duty to also experience that, uh, transfer that. Final point is about the uh, high importance of father figure in Islam. The Messenger وسلم, said that the father is the main and middle gate to paradise. If you have a bus, which gate is the largest and most important and most beautiful one? It's the one in the middle. The Messenger وسلم, said the father is the middle gate of paradise. So, preserve that gate or waste it or neglect it. It's your duty. So, we need to realize that. Part of our duty toward our children as well is to shower them with our love and emotions. And sadly, many people are not doing that. Many fathers are not used to expressing their emotions and feelings toward their children. Although they love them greatly and dearly. But they don't show it, they don't express it. And this is a mistake. The Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu was to literally express it by speech and by action. We have many of the generation of the Messenger Sallallahu hugging his grandchildren and saying, Oh my, oh, by the, oh, oh Allah, oh my Lord, be a witness that I love them. So, oh Allah Almighty, love them. He's saying that while well, they are here. And when he will see them sometimes, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam carry them and hug them and kiss them. So much so, one of the Sahaba, Laqra bin Haris radiallahu anhu, or another man, so the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam do that and he said, I have ten of children, I have never kissed any one of them. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to him, the one who do not show mercy to people, Allah Almighty will not show him mercy in the hereafter. The importance of expressing your love to your children. As in the other narration, the Messenger Sallallahu said to the other man, he says, we never kiss our children. Like a matter of pride. We're not that low. The Messenger Sallallahu said, what can I do to help you if Allah Almighty has removed mercy from your heart? Not in my hand. I cannot make you a merciful person. Unless you yourself try and, and be. So it's our duty to do that, inshallah. May Allah Almighty make us uh, good parents to our children. May Allah Almighty protect them and guide them and uh, make them uh, good, good followers to, to our role models that, that they are looking up to. And may Allah Almighty uh, make them a blessing to us in this world and in the hereafter. May Allah Almighty guide them and, and, and make them successful in their worldly matters and in their religious matters amin wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh